Hey guys, what's up? This is Zach Tardy, 2744 from iOSNova.com here today to talk a little bit about iOS 5 GM. And for those of you guys who don't know what iOS 5 GM is, basically it's called Goldmaster. It's pretty much what you're going to be seeing on October 12th when iOS 5 gets released. There may be some further tweaking or bug fixes along the road, but pretty much what Goldmaster is is the finalized version of iOS 5 and all the features and everything are going to be included in that version, which we'll see on October 12th. Uh, and I've been receiving lots of questions about how to download it, where you can download it, and how to put it on your iOS device. And although it's a couple of days away from the iOS 5 release, many people want this Gold Master beforehand because, you know, it's something that people are on the edge of their seats for and they just want it now. In this case, I'll be showing you guys where to download it, how to download it, and how to put it on your iOS device. So first, of course, is how to download it. And where you can You're basically going to need two downloads for this tutorial. Simply to get iOS 5 GM for all the iOS devices, head on over to iOSnova.com slash firmware. That is my website. So you guys can go ahead and check out the link in the description below. In that case, you're going to have all free downloads. This isn't going to cost you anything. Uh, I use these downloads personally myself in this tutorial. That's what I'll be using. We have iPad 2 CDMA, uh, iPad 2 GSM, iPad 2 Wi-Fi, iPhone 4 CDMA, iPhone 4 GSM, iPhone 3 GS, iPod touch fourth generation and iPod touch third generation those will link you to a mega upload and then you'll just simply download it from there also you're gonna need iTunes 10.5 beta 7 downloads for whatever computer you need uh, whether or not you need the Windows 32-bit download Windows 64-bit download or if you are a Mac user and do keep in mind that this does not require any developers account whatsoever so if you're not a developer you can still do this it does not require your UDID registered or anything like that now once you have iOS 5 GM downloaded to your computer and I do recommend saving them to your desktop that way it's a little bit easier to locate in the future when you do have to use it uh, and then in the case you will also have to have iTunes 10.5 beta 7 once that's open up and working go ahead and take your iPod iPhone iPad whatever you're using and go ahead and plug it into your computer like so simply like that I do recommend letting it save and back up sync in that case Make sure it syncs all your information, all your music, all your photos, all your videos to make sure that you do not lose any of that stuff because keep in mind you are restoring your device and you may want to have all that information so make sure you see now since that. you have your iPhone iPod touch or iPad plugged into your computer and you do have the two downloads available to where you know where the files are you need to go ahead and go into iTunes and within iTunes you can see that I have my iGuitar Dudes iPod open there and then here's the information and there's the restore button but first like I said before you do that if you don't want to lose any of your data because a restore will take away that data basically you're restoring to the iOS 5 so it's going to take out everything including your contacts apps music movies TV shows so go through at the top here and sync every single one of those things uh, to your device by hitting that sync button down there to ensure that you don't lose any of that data now to show you that this is uh, iTunes 10.5 there you go right there in the information and so to do this simply all you're gonna have to do is locate your iOS 5 GM file and then restore to it if you're a Windows user hit shift or hold shift and left click restore if you're a Mac user hold options or alt and then left click restore in this case I'm a Windows user I'm holding shift left clicking restore my files are all gonna show up here I'm gonna scroll down to where I know where it is or you can search through and find it yourself and then double click on the file in which you want to restore it says iTunes will erase and restore the iPod to iOS 5 and will you verify this basically so you know Apple can go ahead and restore it go ahead and click restore and it's going to take some time to restore it once it gets done restoring I'm going to go ahead and skip through because it does take a while like I said I'm going to be showing you guys that it is running iOS 5 so there you have it, this is my iPod Touch 4th generation that I just did the iOS 5 restore on, and here we have iOS 5 GM, basically you just go through the whole entire setup, uh, you know, you do everything it says, the instructions, you don't even have to have your iOS device plugged in while doing the setup, which is something nice about uh, iOS 5 as it is. So there you have it, that's the tutorial, thank you for watching, this is Zagatardi 2744, if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe, by hitting the subscription button above, that'll be much appreciated, also I make daily videos, leave your comments and thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, visit the description below, follow me on Facebook and Twitter as well, check out iOSNova.com for up to date iOS news, thank you for watching, this is Zagatardi 2744.